incredible insight about what happens when you watch others achieve. Today's conversation is sponsored by the Billy Keels Advisory Program. If you want to learn more about how to make your nine to five optional, just go to billykeels.com forward slash advising. Once again, that's billykeels.com forward slash advising. Astonishing insight about what happens when you watch others take action. This is going to be one of those episodes where it's time to reflect on the past. Um, I want to share one of the stories with you about how the podcast, the Going Long podcast with Billy Keels has gotten to where we are today, um, ranked in the top 1.5% of podcasts around the globe. There's more than three and a half million podcasts to date. Um, we continue to put out two episodes a week, every week, and we've done that since June of 2020, um, but it wasn't always that way. Um, and so today, this is really about the astonishing insight about what happens when you watch others take action, specifically what happened to me, a story that I want to share with you, especially when you are in the corporate career and you are afraid to actually achieve, to take action, to begin to go out and walk into the you that is waiting for you. Now, if you go back to, well, I want to actually even take you probably back to 2015, 2016, 2016, uh, so depending on when you're listening to this, I mean, this is, could almost be a decade, right? Or just short of a decade. So at this point in time, I'm, I'm a couple of years into my real estate investing. Uh, I had this five-year goal. I'd already attempted to, I'd already accomplished the, the five-year goal in 18 months. So uh, by taking action, I realized that I really enjoyed my corporate job. I think at that point in time, I still loved my corporate job. Uh, now I realized I liked it a lot. I wasn't in love with the corporate role. I liked it a lot. Uh, great benefits, great uh, contract between me and, 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 the, and the corporate machine, corporate machine and me, right? It was a very nice symbiotic relationship. But because I'd started to realize that I had a lot of transferable skills that I was utilizing outside of the corporate role, I realized that this actually, I started to get the early, what I like to call proof of concept, right? I was in the enterprise software space. So you, you get out there, you test something, you see how it's working, and then you decide you want to pour more gas on it, or do you want to kind of start to pour some sand on it, relax, enjoy the, the benefits of corporate life? Well, at this point in time, I decided it was it was time to be much more intentional about the relationships that I was creating, about the people that I was meeting. And so I wanted to go online and start meeting people online in, the, in a lot of the different uh, investing, specifically real estate investing communities, and started meeting people. So I, I ended up going to a group, uh, met, uh, met with a number of people in this group uh, and doing this uh you know, from me being in Europe and in Spain and and people being in, you know, California and Florida and in the Midwest and like Ohio, like where I'm from originally. And the thing is, is I started realizing that it was time for me to develop the skills. It was time to start to get ready to scale so that I could get to a point where, yeah, corporate was really cool, but I also wanted to take much more control over my life into, into my own hands. And so one of the things that happened is like, I really had this, as I decided it was time for me to invest in myself. And I believe I've talked to you about it. And I, I don't even think I've done an episode on that. It was shame on me. I, I will start to plan that. I will get that episode out, but it's the, an episode where I made an investment in myself, a financial investment of almost six figures. And at the same time, I decided to dedicate a lot more time, effort, and energy, which is much more important than, uh, than, than, than the money. And we'll come back to that because a lot of things you start to, to realize as you, as you go through this, especially if you're like a guy like me, um, or a woman like me, where you come from a lower middle class family, you worked your butt off, you get to this point where you're like, okay, cool. Um, I'm living a life that's very different than the one that I grew up in because I have uh, resources, I have financial resources, I have uh, more time, I have access to people that are much smarter than me, much more influential than me, and people that have already walked the path that I want to walk. So let me come back to this. So when I decided it was time to invest in myself, one of the things that I kept continue to hear from my from my coach was, and remember, I was paying this guy a lot of money. What I like, I was went to every single session prepared, ready to go. But one of the things he kept be um like just harping on about was you really need to build a thought leadership platform. And I was like, okay, cool, I'll build a thought leadership platform. And then when I realized the same way that I met this, this, this coach was through a podcast. One of the big things he said, is, once again, is back in 2016, like get a podcast. And so I was ready to go. I invested in the coach. I knew that I wanted to do it. And although the, the, the thought leadership thing was really important, what I wanted to be able to do was positively impact other people and also get to a point where I knew that I would create 
a what is well at the time I was thinking of financial freedom. I think of it very differently now, but I wanted financial freedom, even though I already had it. A whole different topic, but definitely going to do a podcast episode on that. But I wanted to impact and influence others uh, and, and be have more uh, of the control over my lifestyle. So when I got to a point where, all right, well, I wanted to, I knew what the what I was engaged. Um, in the coaching program that I was having, I was really crushing it at the office. It was the same year that I did like 300% of my quota was in the top 1.1% of salespeople around the globe of this very large German enterprise software company that has over 150,000 employees. And I started doing the work towards what my coach was telling me, but then I got frozen. Like I literally got frozen because it was like, this is one of the things that it's very difficult to understand. Most of the time, we're worried about the limiting beliefs that say we can't do it. I was not in that situation. What happened to me is I was afraid of what would happen when I did it, right? When I built the thought leadership platform, what would my colleagues think? What would my boss think? What would the corporate machine think about me who was making a lot of money, right? Mid six figure salary, you're out, you're you're, you're doing your bonus checks and all this kind of good stuff. And I didn't believe that I had the ability or the authority or to be able to go out and actually have a life of my own. Silly me. (laughs) Silly me. I thought that corporate was in control of everything because that stream of income, which allowed me and my family, the benefits, the advantages of things that I wanted to do. I didn't think that I should be cheating on my corporate employer machine. Right. So my fear was not that I wouldn't be able to achieve. It was the fear of what happens when I achieve it. Who's going to see me? What are they going to think? Is this going to put my business in or my my uh, my side business in jeopardy? More importantly, is it going to put my paycheck in jeopardy? All of these thoughts came into my mind, and I just didn't know what to do. So I figured out, like, one of the things I I started realizing is like I couldn't do everything. This was the, one of the benefits of working with uh, with my coach was starting to figure out. Okay, there's processes, there's systems. I came from an enterprise software background, which was really focused on business process. So I had an advantage there, continue to have a very unique insight into the way that I see things and, and a lot of the the inefficiencies that exist, especially when you're working in a corporate role and you're building your business on the side. But let me not digress. So I get to this point where I remember there is a guy who's also in the these different programs with me and he was uh, not working in a corporate He'd made his own, he had his own business on the side, but he was now focusing on uh, being able to focus more on education, on syndication. So aggregating people's capital, bringing it to, to invest in larger types of assets. But this friend of mine, like I'll call him a friend of mine. Um, I remember consistently watching and, and, and listening to what he was doing. And so when I realized that there were already other people that were in the same group that were working with a, a, a my coach, but doing very different things. I started realizing, oh my gosh, hang on a second. We're starting at the same time, but we're getting the instruction from our coach. But when I started looking to the side, this guy, and I'm going to call him Skyler, uh, I'll call him Skyler. And Skyler is a very, very uh, important person as it relates to the Going Long podcast, uh, because without Skyler, this podcast would probably not be here. Because what I started realizing is that Skyler was taking action. The only reason I'm calling him Skyler, by the way, is because I haven't... um, I haven't spoken to him in a while, but if you've been listening to the podcast in any amount of time, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So the deal is, is I started watching him. We're going through the same instruction and he's moving at the speed of instruction. I'm moving until I realize if this thing goes well, what am I going to do? Or when this thing goes well, what's going to happen to me? What barriers, what issues am I going to have? So one of the things I realized is I put this plan together. I start realizing I have to figure out who's going to help me, not like not how am I going to do this myself, i.e. start the podcast. So I get to a point where I come up with my plan. I realized that I needed to have people that were going to help me, um, people that are uh, bringing the, the guests to the podcast, uh, someone else who, and Andy, if it weren't for you, this podcast would still not be here. Uh, but to be able to to edit, to be able to produce, to do the things that I know that someone else is much more proficient at. So I find, started looking for who could actually help, not me, how I was going to build the podcast together. But the, the thing is, is when I started putting this plan together, the idea was to very simply 
put standard operating procedures around was to get, well, to get the right people, standard operating procedures or SOPs. And then afterwards it was the, the idea was for me to interview people, just very simply interview the people that I started meeting intentionally, networking with, getting to know. And that was it. And I realized that as I was thinking about all of these things, because this happened in 2016, I let myself get so distracted that literally four years later, I'd still not done a podcast episode. I thought about what I should be doing and then doing and not doing. But then the thing that happens is this is the insight about what happens when you watch others take action because Skyler had started taking action, imperfect action, but he was taking action on imperfect information and continuing to adjust, to move, to go faster to the point that his podcast, because he started this podcast and in the same period of time, his podcast was in the top 10 podcasts of real estate around the globe at the time. And so I started realizing to myself, I'm missing a massive opportunity because he was making the impact on the lives of the people that he wanted to make an impact on. His podcast was building the thought leadership platform. And most importantly, as I would connect with him and, and speak with him, he was having fun living out one of his purposes through the podcast, attracting, serving others. And I realized, wow, there's this internal battle that I was going through, which was like the, the corporate comfort and the advantages and the, and the benefits that I placed on it versus actually getting out and risking perfection. I was afraid to risk perfection. I was more worried about corporate and being able to have the benefits from corporate. And so as I went through that own internal kind of like uh, dialogue, internal conflict that I was going through, I realized that as I started to look, it was the insight that I started to get because when I started watching Skyler take action and where he'd gone, the impact on the lives that he'd made, it was phenomenal. And now it took me four years because I was in my own head, but eventually I got out there, put all the, they the, got the right people on board who put the right plans together, the standard operating procedures started to bring on amazing guests, right? If you go back to the episode one, two, three, four, five, we've come a long way, by the way. But the most important thing is, even though it took me four years to get started, <laughs> highly overthinking things, I got to a point where I realized that I could positively impact other people's lives through this platform known as the Going Long Podcast with Billy Keels. And would be able to continue to influence and impact others. Took me a while to get there. And if it were not for Skyler and being a motivator and allowing me to see him take action and me feeling the pain of not taking action and the lives positively, the, the, the lives that he was positively impacting because of the action that he took. It's astonishing insight. It really is because it means that had I taken action, Maybe that was 18 months that it took me to, 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 to get to my dream. It would have taken even less time, right? Instead of five years, 18 months, maybe 18 months, it would have taken nine months or 10 months or 12 months. Who knows? It would have really depended on the clarity that I would have had, the, the, the leverage that I would have taken, and also the, the, the magnetism that I was able to, uh, to, 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 to bend to put together. But with that, this is, so I just want to share that story because I think about Skyler and all the action that he continued to take and the motivation that it created for me. Like that's the insight. Just because someone is moving faster or more ahead than you, it's not you versus that person. It's you versus you. You can understand that person's context, their situation, and realize that you can do something very similar. What is your goal? What is your dream? What's holding you back? Is it success? Are you afraid of success? I was. Are you afraid of failure? Been there too. But the most important thing that you can learn is when others take action while you are watching, they are doing. And if you want to make positive impact on other people's lives, it's about doing more, not watching others. Note to self. Anyway, that's today's episode. It's it's brief. It's uh it's impactful. And the idea is for you to be able to take this. Take the theory, take the theory, share it with friends, share it with family, talk about it. Go from theory to, 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 to practicality. How are you applying this? Don't just sit here. Don't just be on the treadmill. Don't just be walking down the street. Take the episode, share it with somebody else and make this 
information, information that you can use to, to improve the status of where you're going, your life, your, your family's lives, things like that. So listen, while you're sharing today's episode, I'll be here. I'll be preparing for another episode. And so um, I just want to say thank you very, very much. Today's conversation was sponsored by the Billy Keels Advisory Program. If you're looking to make your nine to five optional and need some help, just go to billykeels.com forward slash advising. Once again, that's billykeels.com forward slash advising.